I'm pleased to announce today the city's intent to purchase the historic Chateau Theater. Yes, yes. Since the closing of Barnes & Noble in December, there's been much speculation and many pleas to save this historic building, some of them by me. I've, I've listened, we have listened to those heartfelt comments and completely agree that we need to take action to preserve this important link to Rochester's history for future generations. The Mayo Brothers supported the arts and believed it was important to have entertainment options for people throughout our community and region, our employees and our visitors. They, like others, advocated for building the Chateau Theater. In fact, Dr. Charlie Mayo had the honor of turning the first spade of dirt during the grand groundbreaking ceremony on April 1st, 1927, 88 years ago. Our gift demonstrates Mayo's commitment to this community and to historic preservation. Mayo Clinic fully supports the Destination Medical Center initiative, and this exciting public-private partnership will help the city, county, state, and Mayo remain at the forefront of healthcare in this country. It's truly a great day for Rochester and for Mayo Clinic. And thanks to the foresight of the city of Rochester and Mayo Clinic, this iconic building will be a part of the heart of the city forevermore. And this is something I think that we should all feel very, very proud of. This is a project that we are so proud to support as part of the Destination Medical Center. And I think it is a first and very auspicious step in our goal to create a global center for health and wellness and to have Rochester be America's city for health. So I'm so happy to be here today to congratulate the city and Mayo Clinic for taking uh, this next step. The city will retain ownership of the building similar to other buildings such as the art center or the current senior center. The actual programming of the building space and operation of programs will de be determined over time. The purchase of the Chateau Theater demonstrates our commitment to preserving vital connections to our past and our willingness to invest in future generations. So I'm very pleased that we could be here today. documents have been signed as of today.